Shalom everyone and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajin. And today's scripture comes from Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 14 and it reads as follows. Put on therefore as the elect of Yahuwah, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. As you get started on the rest of your day, and you're thinking about what you're going to put on today, think about this verse. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahuwah, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. How are you living your life as the elect of Yahuwah? Are you living a set-apart life before Him and everybody that you come in contact with? Are you walking in mercy? Are you showing mercy and kindness toward other people? Are you humble? Or are you full of pride? Are you conceited? Are you puffed up? Do you have meekness? It doesn't mean that you're weak. But when when people look at you, do they see a meekness about you? Do they see a humbleness about you? Do they see that you are not strong in and of your own self, but you depend upon the strength and the power of Yah? Are you walking in long suffering or are you impatient? Are you quick to get angry, to get upset? These are characteristics of the Most High Yah. These are the things that Abba Yah has extended towards us. And here we're being instructed to extend these attributes to other people. So as we're going throughout our day today, we have to think about those things. We have to think about whether we're living that set apart life. And are these things being seen and are evident in our lives? When people come in contact with us, each and every day, are they coming in contact with mercy and kindness and a humble heart, a humbleness of mind? Remember, in order for you to be able to walk in any of these things, you got to renew your mind. You got to change the way that you think. You got to see things from Yah's perspective. And that starts with you spending time with him, spending time in his presence, seeking his face, listening to his voice, hearing his voice and his counsel above all others, making sure that your life is lined up with his covenant, with his commandments. If you have areas of your life where you're not living right, you're living in sin, you've got to repent. You've got to turn away from that sin. Turn away from any wickedness that's going on in your life. And then the Most High Yah will be able to pour out His attributes in your life. You'll be able to walk in these things. It goes on to say forbearing one another. And forgiving one another. You know, that means, that you, you know, because you have long suffering, that means you're going to give somebody a chance. 
you're going to give them another opportunity. You're going to give that relationship another chance. You're going to forgive them. You're going to forgive them. If you're fighting against anybody, you're going to try to get that situation right. You're going to try to bring some resolution to the table in that area with that person. Because we have to remember that Hamashiach forgave us. So we should do that for other people. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. See, after we do all of these other things, after we put on mercies and kindness and a humbleness of mind, meekness and long suffering, and we forbear one another and forgive one another. Just as the Hamashiach forgave us, then we got to put on love. It's just like putting on your clothes every day. You know, you start with your undergarments and then you put on your your blouse and then you put on your pants and, you know, you you go through each area of your clothing. And and then you put on your shoes. okay? that's the way love is. That's the way love is. Because then you're going to start walking. You're going to start walking in these spiritual pieces of clothing, so to speak. So, as you're thinking about what you're going to put on today, as you, you know, go about your day for your daily tasks, whether it's work or you have to take care of business or whatever it is that you have to do today, remember, remember to put on these spiritual pieces of clothing. So that you'll be able to walk in obedience to the word of Yah. Very, very important that people start seeing the the attributes of the Most High Yah in our lives today. When people come in contact with us, you know, the words that come out of our mouths, the, you know, the, the spirit that radiates from us to them they should be coming in contact with all of these things and when somebody walks away from their conversation with you they should feel better they should feel like they have had value added to their lives they shouldn't feel worse they should feel like they have come in contact with the Most High Yah through you. So remember that today. As you go throughout your day, remember to keep the Most High Yah first in every single area of your life. Give Him the highest esteem today. Give Him the Hallelujah praise today, which is the highest praise that you can give to the Most High Yah. Have a blessed day. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.